There are three basic drum tones you need for the styles of rock, swing, Latin, and then funk or R&B. They are the open, closed, and feathered tones. Open tones are the most important for your early study because they reveal the physical comfort of your legs. Set a relaxed foot on the bass drum pedal, heel on the floor, supporting the leg. The beater should not touch the head. If it does, there's a spring on the side that you can adjust until it holds up the weight of your foot. Without lifting the leg, touch the head and relax. Allow the beater to fall away from the head after each note. Experiment with dynamics and check in with your leg, returning to a relaxed state if you notice yourself tensing up. This is for any rock and country music and for bebop jazz, where the bass drum is a more equal voice to the snare and toms. This is also the tone we're going to use for all drum set stick control. Closed tones are easy to do, but difficult to master in practice because they use more of the leg. From the open position, lift your heel and allow the weight of your leg to rest on your toes, pressing the beater into the head. This pinches off the tone of each note, giving the characteristic kick sound from a lot of funk and R&B music. This is also the sampled sound used for hip hop. I avoid teaching this for a long time to make sure we get the relaxed leg in place first. Players who use this approach are very relaxed in their legs. I find it's difficult for younger players to achieve this relaxation starting out, which is why I start with the open tone first. Feathered tones are for swing and jazz generally. They come from the early days of dance bands in the 20s and 30s. During this time, the environment was loud and amplification wasn't always good. The upright bass players at this time could be difficult to hear, so they would stand right near the drummer and the bass drum would lightly reinforce their beat placement so that everyone on the bandstand could feel the pulse better. Over time, as amplification was better and club jazz became a more intimate environment, the need for this approach declined. As a result, today about half the directors in the world say, never do that, that's not needed, and the other half say, always do that, that's a traditional part of the sound. My advice is, don't get fired. Just be ready to do either, and don't worry about it. Before you play, press on your drum head with the pads of your fingers, sort of a Spider-Man kind of look. Feel the touch and release, and how you're not hitting the surface, but more pressing. Now do the same thing with your foot and the beater on the bass drum. Feel the touch, and how the drum lightly resonates. The original beaters for this were covered with a puffy lamb's wool. So modern felt beaters are just a little hard, but they can still do the job if you focus on touching rather than hitting. Practice these three tones every day until you can easily make them right away. You'll need all of them soon, as well as the ability to switch on demand.